All right, guys. So I just picked up that 80-gallon tank, and uh, I don't know if any of you guys are following me on Facebook, but I was talking about a new build that I was going to be doing, an 80-gallon peninsula tank with uh, basically bar around it and a huge cabinet down below with other tanks cut out in the wood showing. Um, and uh, when I went to go pick up the tank, it had just a little too many scratches for me to say, yeah. Um, I mean, some of these, it's really hard to tell, but they're the kind of scratches that um, once algae starts growing in them, that you're really going to have to get in there with like an SOS pad or something to get the algae out, so the crack's going to show up. And the last thing I want to do on this build is you know spend spend all the time on a tank that I'm just gonna want to replace and to have nicer glass but uh, the good side is it came with this lighting setup which will be my lighting setup for the future uh, build those are uh, HQI 250 watt double enders got T12 VHOs and then 296 watt 94 watt power compacts and uh, that's kind of what I'm after. Some some uh, other little equipment. Ice cap ballast from 04, uh, 12 volt uh, trans uh, former for the fans. And uh, that's about all I was after uh, for the new build. So I got a guy coming over here to look at this. I got it posted $25 more than what I paid for it and uh, hopefully we'll sell the tank and the stand for the same price that I paid and I'll get all this stuff for free and uh, that's what you call wheeling and dealing guys that's how uh, you get so far in the hobby that without spending so much money so keep that in mind not always to buy brand new but uh, there's plenty of other options on uh, keeping your budget down you know as the saying goes it takes money to make money so that's kinda how I pretty much got all my equipment here I mean everything is free so far except for my electric bill but uh, you know I make I make money off of YouTube so that definitely covers my electric bill every month anyway so but uh, tanks doing alright I'll show you guys a little bit about it after the tank is gone and uh, I'll update you guys. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, the 80 gallon is gone. So in less than six hours, guys, I bought an 80 gallon tank for a hundred bucks. Uh, pretty much scored all the lighting that was on the tank. That's uh, two VHO T12s, two 96 watt power compacts, two 250 watt double end HQI metal halides, um, ice cap ballast pumps, all those things for free because I sold the tank for $125 and was able to keep everything else. So like I said guys, it takes money to make money. Wheeling and dealing is the way to uh, build your system for cheap. Um, shit, I made money to go and get uh, get this so um, look for those deals guys even though you don't want everything in the deal you might be able to make some little bit of extra cash out of it so alright guys um, real quick thing I figured I'd show you guys um, the light setup um, everything's working I just wanted to make sure the only thing we're missing is another uh, bulb but uh, we'll take care of that but uh, I'm definitely going to utilize the VHOs out of this and uh, probably the power compacts. Just use all the light and then I'm going to go ahead. And add both of these T5 fixtures in this unit as well. Um, I kind of just want to go overboard with it, so. But with that said, guys, uh, you guys know why I didn't get the 80-gallon 
because it had too many scratches and I really wanted to do a really nice peninsula, something that's not going to look nasty. So uh, with that said, guys, I'm still looking for a big tank. Uh, I'm real excited to do that build. And uh, I just want to let you guys know that means I'm going to be shutting down my hot tub uh, for this build. So once the 100 gallon or 80 gallon or 125, whatever size tank I choose, Peninsula is done, that's when basically the system will get shut down and I will utilize 90% of the equipment here. And the reason I want to do this, guys, is... Uh, I definitely want one of the tubs to go outside because uh, I'm actually going to do something really cool with this one. Um, I don't want to tell you guys because I don't want anyone to steal my idea. But uh, that's for a future project. And in order for me to put the acrylic windows in this, guys, and jack it up off the ground so you can see in it all the way around, um, it's going to need to be emptied. So uh, I need to do that. All in all, guys, the hair algae stopped, but uh, there's just a lot of uh, dead algae in some spots, and I need to get in here and siphon it out. Uh, I've kind of been neglecting this tank. I upped the calc and pulled a bunch of the uh, corals out, and uh, but my red planet's doing really good. It's growing really fast, so... But the polyp extension on the one in the breeder is insane compared to that. But uh, I need to clean this lens. But. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. Um, I kind of wanted to fill you in on how I'm going to be building this uh, tank stand, but uh, there's not much info that I'm going to be able to uh, tell you guys right now. But uh, the algae scrubber seems to be working pretty good. I'm sorry, guys, I've been neglecting this system quite a, quite a bit since the. Uh, 40 breeders installed. I just spend most of my time on that tank, but uh, it's all I got in here is pretty much fish. So I just come down here and feed, and uh, I just keep the corals over there. But uh, I'm trying to find a tank so I can incorporate this 33 gallon tank into the tank setup down below as my frag system, and may. If I have the room, I might install this tank here as well underneath the cabinet of this uh, peninsula style tank or, or whatever size tank um, I choose to go with. But uh, that way, guys, I can still frag and have a nice display tank. Um, guys, it's real difficult trying to work on a tank that you can't see in. Um, that the hermit crabs can't get up onto the frag rack to clean because it's just half inch pipe and uh, it's just a nightmare so I just want to turn it into a nice display tank down the road alright guys so my next video that I'm going to be posting in the next couple days will be the clean out of my algae scrubber I'll talk about my lighting and uh, basically spectrum um, kind of considering changing spectrums but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and maybe uh, possibly do a, a clean it looks like in a few months this whole entire thing will be covered it's just taking some time so uh, I do like Mike's uh, upflow algae scrubber uh, design I think I'm gonna utilize his design in the 40 breeder because that do-it-yourself surge thing um, it's hard because I shut it off at night and uh, it would just be better if I can maybe just have it blowing up air instead. That way I don't have to worry about it. So,
All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you. Hope you guys liked my video. Stay f uh, tuned uh, for my next build. Um, if you guys are anywhere near Oregon, let me know if there's any good deals on tanks. All right. See you guys.